Hello and welcome back to lesson 17 in the creation of our school management system with the GeForce IT Service Academy using Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. All right, so in our previous lesson, that is lesson 16, we designed something like this. So in this lesson, we are going to continue and do the necessary settings and the necessary formatings. Then we have a good system. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's just dive into the lesson but don't forget to subscribe to the channel don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family members all right so let's just tap on this one here let's just tap on it like that then we do some settings there okay so let's select this one then let's go to caption then we go to font we want to change the font of uh, that particular uh, test there. So we go to font like that. Then we change it to Times New Roman. So we select Times New Roman. We want it to be bold. Then let's set it to 12. Then we click OK. So we have it there. Student details here. We have the student details here okay so let's change it to student database let's change the name to students database like this so students database then you hit enter like this so we have it here students database let's come to the top here let's select that one two let's come to font then we change it to Times New Roman. Then we also bold that one and change it to 12. The font size to be 12. So we have that one to the app and running. Now, let's see if we can do some changes here. Okay, so let's click inside this frame here. And let's go to color. Let's try to change the color to something like this. I think this is cool I think this is looking good and I think it is looking uh, handsome yeah it's looking handsome I mean you get it okay so so let's let's run so we run this form here so we have it here nicely this is the the user form this is how it will look like this is how it will appear this is how the user form is going to appear for people to see so let's just click this one and then let's come to the down here let's come to the bottom here let's try to adjust something here okay okay so we don't want to waste much time on that so let's just maintain it like that now let's come to column heads so click inside here then let's go to column heads let's set, set search for the column heads here okay so let's go to column heads here please make sure that you select this one let's select the list box then we go to column heads then we turn it to true let's turn it to true like this good so now let's come to uh, the, the the column count how many columns do we have on the student detail table so they are 10 like this so just hit enter so we have the 10 columns appearing inside the list box here so now let's go to the column width let's go to the column width so the first one that we have is the admission number and we would like the admission number to be 80 so you enter it there comma then the second one is name so we want the name to have a big space so 180 then the third one is going to be the class we want the class to be 110 then we move to the date of birth we want it to be 180 because some people can enter 
longer date of birth then we move to date of admission also 180 then comma we move to admission fee it should be 80 then we move to uh, uh, guardian name the guardian name is supposed to be 180 then we move to address the address is supposed to be 180 like this then we move to contact the contact should be 100 so we move to this one gender the gender is supposed to be uh, 80 the gender is supposed to be 80 okay so let's make the contact to be uh, 100 the contact is the last thing on the student details table so after entering all those things let's just hit enter when you hit enter you see some changes here you see some changes in the list box here please i hope you can see it here you can see the various changes in the list box here they are all appearing here these are the column heads appearing in our list box here without any stress and without any problem okay now let's just run this form and see how it will appear let's just run it and see how it will appear here so let's come to run here then we run the okay so we have our form here appearing nicely without any stress and without any problem so when we are done with everything the column heads and everything will appear here for you to see all right so let's just continue with that All right, so the next thing that we are going to do is to select the form so let's just click here to select the form then we come to caption here then let's rename it to student data entry form student data entry form so we name it like this so student data entry form okay student data entry form so we have it there up and running you can see it at the top here so now let's go to font let's go to the font style there let's change it to times new roman let's bold it let's change it to 12 i think we need to increase it again to 16 so let's just click ok and see what is going to happen there okay so we have it here now let's come to the font style again let's give it italic bold and let's see what is going to happen so we are still using the times new roman here like that so we have the name at the top the student data entry form so basically that is that i think we are done with this one is there any other thing that we need to do okay so let's try to adjust this buttons here a little bit let's bring this one closer to this one and let's move the test box closer to the search button here like this okay so our form is having some nice shape now i think we are good to go so thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button for all so let's meet in lesson 18.